What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are comparing the Google versus IBM Data Analyst Professional Certificates. Now, Google just launched their Data Analytics Professional Certificate just last month. And since then, one of the main questions that I've been getting is whether you should take the IBM or the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate. And I think that is a fantastic question because up until recently, the IBM certification was really your best choice. So today we're really just going to look at these two certifications and then at the end I will give a recommendation. I will say I'm not going to be going super in depth into both of these certifications. I've done full reviews of both of these in separate videos. So I'll put a link in the description if you want to check those out. But really quickly, let's take a look at both of these certifications. So let's start off with IBM. It's around 140 hours of coursework and it typically takes around three to four months to complete if you're doing around 10 to 15 hours per week. You're going to learn Excel for a lot of things, including data wrangling and data mining, as well as connecting that to Cognos to create dashboards. You'll also be learning SQL and IBM Cloud, and you'll learn a lot of the basics to intermediate concepts. From there, you'll move on to Python, and that is going to be all taught in Jupyter Notebooks. The IBM certification has a huge focus on Python. In fact, it takes up about half of all the hours for the coursework on just teaching Python itself. Now let's look at the Google certification. It's over 180 hours of coursework and should take anywhere from three to five months to complete if you're doing around 10 to 20 hours per week to complete the course. You're gonna learn how to use spreadsheets and of course they're gonna do that in Google Sheets and you'll learn everything from data wrangling to data mining to data cleaning. You're also going to learn SQL and you'll be doing that in BigQuery, which is, of course, within the Google Cloud Platform. After that, you'll be learning how to visualize your data in Tableau and you'll also be learning R and you'll do that in RStudio. The Google certification goes a little bit above just the technical skills. It also is going to help with things like resume prep, interview prep and creating a portfolio. Now that we've gotten a brief overview of both these certifications, let's talk about some of the differences between them. And let's start out with the glaringly obvious one, and that is the programming language that they use. In the Google certification, you're going to be using R, and in the IBM certification, you're going to be using Python. Now, we don't have to argue about which one is better, but some people will have a preference, and that could be a big determining factor on which one you take. If you want to learn both, you can always take the Google certification and take a Python course alongside it, or vice versa, and do the IBM certification with an R course alongside it. One big difference that may not mean a whole lot to you is actually the teaching styles or how they present the information. In the IBM certification, for most of their videos, they're doing some type of animation or PowerPoint, and they're just doing a voiceover, walking through it and talking through it. Well, the Google certification has people that are on camera talking right to you. And I definitely think this comes down to personal preference. I much prefer somebody looking at me and talking to me and walking me through these things, much like I'm doing with you right now. I never was a huge fan of how IBM did their videos. I mean, they get the point across. The information is fantastic. It just could be a bit boring at times. Whereas I feel like the Google certification personally, it was a lot more engaging. Now, I only have a handful of women that are important in my life. I have my wife, I have my two daughters, I have my mother, my mother-in-law, and my grandma. And another one that I'm going to have to add to this list is Sally. If you have not gotten to the SQL portion of the Google certification, I highly recommend skipping ahead and checking out Sally's videos. I mean, this girl is really passionate about SQL. And you guys know, I am very passionate about SQL. And so I feel like there's just this connection there. So I don't know. I feel like on some level, Sally knows me better than my wife knows me. I don't know. Don't tell my wife I said that. I think one other big thing to mention is how these certifications are actually setting you up to get a job after you finish them. One thing that Google has done to go above and beyond the competition is add something called an employer consortium. Once you finish the certification, they are going to share your information with over 130 companies that are hiring entry level data analysts just like you. Now, nobody has actually finished the Google certification yet, and that's because there's still some courses that need to be released as of today. And so we don't know how effective this program is going to be, but it still looks very promising. Now, with all that being said, which certification do I recommend? I think you can guess it by now. It's the Google certification. So I actually just recently completed the IBM certification, and now I'm going through the Google certification. And the Google certification to me just feels a lot better. I just personally like learning from someone who is actually talking to me instead of doing it through a PowerPoint. That's just not really my style. I still feel like I learned a ton from the IBM certification. There's nothing against it at all. It's just the learning style itself was a big one for me. And when you're doing this for months on end, you know, you want to find one that you actually enjoy doing instead of something that just feels a little bit monotonous. 
I also really like that the Google certification is doing things like resume prep and interview prep and helping with a portfolio. These are topics and things that people who are just starting out really don't know about and they maybe have never done that before. And so having these topics or these optional things that you can do within the course is a huge benefit. Not to mention when you complete the Google certification, they're gonna help you try to find an entry level job. So that is huge. Genuinely, I have nothing against the IBM certification. And if you only wanna learn Python and you have no interest in learning R at all, then I actually do recommend the IBM certification. But if I were in your shoes today and I was trying to become a data analyst, I would be taking the Google certification and then alongside that, I'd be taking a Python course. If you wanna check out either of these certifications, I will have links in the description. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you wanna support the channel, be sure to like and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.